We call this hangover hair from hell. That's right. Guys, you getting any sunshine on your dickhead? Don't you find that weird? I think the human body needs sunshine. Okay? I don't believe the lies. All this shit about sunblock and this, that, the other thing. I think you gotta get sun on your dickhead. Breaking news. I took a piss. Listen, I like to take a piss behind the shed over here. Okay, it's like my favorite thing to do now. Because for some reason, somebody's always in the bathroom. Or every time I get in the bathroom, it's like I turn on a huge electromagnetic uh, uh, magnet. Then all of a sudden, everybody has to come in and use the bathroom. And my, my wife beating on the door. Ah, I have to go! Well, yeah, you know what? I got half a log hanging. So I don't, I don't know how this works out. I tell her, it's disgusting. I tell her, I got half a shit hanging out. What now? You know how sometimes you take half, you know, not, not, not to get disgusting. My mother watches this program. But I mean, sometimes you got half a hanger there and it kind of pauses. Like, I, I'm not controlling this thing. I'm not cutting this loaf. And then next thing you know, you got shitty toilet paper. A lot of people don't believe me when I say I don't use toilet paper anymore. Okay, that that statement combined with this haircut could get me put into a home. But it's the truth. I at 47 I finally learned how to take a shit. Oh yeah. You guys, you're not going to the advices program. I'm telling you, we have the Patreon advices program. You don't even know what kind of gems are in there. You're gonna listen to these assholes out there. It's like you, you got to listen to a normal... It's amazing how much of our lives are compru comprised of deceit and lies. You know what my favorite thing to say now to people is? Like if somebody makes a statement or something like that. You say, oh yeah? And then you say to your buddy, that's the kind of guy that thinks the earth is round. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? That's what I say now. Just to get the conversation started. Listen, I don't believe in flat earth, okay? And I don't necessarily believe in round earth, okay? So take that. As, as far as I'm concerned, the fucking thing's a triangle. Suck my dick. That's what I'm going to tell everybody for it. You heard? Triangle earth. Oh, you didn't know? Mm-hmm. Go to one of the points and rotate. My wife's been on vacation last five days. She went to she went to uh, Cancun with her sisters. I love this. This, it, this is like the like five. Why don't you take five uh, two stroke chainsaws and put them on up to full throttle and wrap a zip tie around the fucking the, the thing and just throw them into a. Uh, into a big like kiddie pool, so it can, so it can echo or something. I don't know what can make it louder. And imagine these broads going at it on vacation. Women don't know how to vacation, by the way. They get there, they have two drinks, and then they go to sleep. Especially all the broads. You kidding me? They're all in. I guarantee you, they're all in bed by nine o'clock. These old broads. What are you gonna do with them? I don't blame them. I don't want to party anymore either. I went to a party last night at my brother-in-law's. They invited me. I was like, all right, I'll go over there. All right? What does everybody do? They stand around and make fun of the retarded guy. I'm, it's like going back in a time machine. We went back to the 1980s. Listen, Spanish people don't play around. They'll make fun of a retarded guy. They haven't caught up to that that knucklehead thing that Americans have, where they can't say anything about anyone or make fun of anything or or say anything politically incorrect. We, we turn into a bunch of losers from Loserville. Everybody complains. No, 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 no. Spanish neighborhood. Forget about it. We're talking about old school Spanish people, bro. 
This retarded guy came around. That, that, that's all he did was berate him the whole night. I was waiting for him to snap. I said, deep down inside, people like making fun of retarded people. I hate to tell you, this is one of the saddest parts of humanity. I've seen enough of it to know. It's just good old classic fun. And if you're going to sit there and deny it, you're full of shit, number one. Okay? You're just not allowed to say it. But you haven't lived till you pick on a retarded guy. And to be honest with you, they don't even really know. You know, they just get the, they, they just know that they're getting some extra attention. Anyway, they're bothering this guy. They're going to get him a girlfriend. He's going to sit on his lap. The guy's popping a boner. Everybody's laughing. It's a great time. It's a great time. There's a hierarchy in this world, whether you like it or not. There's there's like alpha males, like real alpha males. I know you pretend you go to the gym and you and you like do shoulder exercises and you come out and all of a sudden you're walking around uh, fucking wall bombs with your shoulders poked out like you're an alpha male. But you're not. This is this is innate. It's built into a man. Okay, so you have alpha males and then you have beta males, like little. Choosy's on the prowl. He's doing his job. I can't yell at him. Anyway, my wife's out of the house. It's like, you know what it's like? It's like removing an air raid siren that's been going off for the past uh, 10 years from the house. It's like, the, oh, look, the air raid siren. I, I, She left and my shoulders were like, ah. I like, wait a second. What is this odd thing? What is this? This ins This is this is incredible. What is that? What is that? The, there's no noise. There's no noise. There's no uh, 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 vicious attacks. There's no more requests to clean gutters or to wipe down the bathroom mirror because I sprayed my toothpaste on it. And I'm like, that's not me. That's Tani. That's not even me. I get stuck, my, my, my son fucks up and I got to clean up after him. I'm like, I didn't do that. So needless to say, the house is a wreck. I mean, there's dental floss over here, a bowl of Captain Crunch half eaten over there. That's a joke. Like, would you ever eat Captain Crunch and not eat it to the very last morsel? That's what I'm talking about. My son eats a bowl of fucking Honey Nut Cheerios. He leaves Cheerios in the bottom, floating around there. I said, who does that? Me and my sisters, we were like professional cereal eaters. You think you, you didn't leave a fucking Apple Jack floating around in that milk? I never used to drink the milk, all right? I don't know. This was for like guys on the football team. It's like way, way too much healthy food for me. I damn my mother every day. I curse her for not buying cookie crisps. I used to ask for that's the one thing. Listen, kids know. We would go to the we would go to the supermarket. I would grab the box of cookie crisps. I'd be like, Ma, can we get them? She's like, No, that's garbage. Get the Captain Crunch. It's like, okay. No. But we put down the cookie crisps. We gotta eat Count Chocula. Oh my God. And it's, and I wanted Honey Smacks because Honey Smacks was the real deal. And then my mother would buy the big bag of, it was like Pathmark, uh, they were called Puffs, Honey Puffs. I was like, these aren't Honey Smacks, all right? There's no fucking cartoon on the box. There's no fucking prize inside the fucking bag. You're coming home with, with, with a, a cereal box that doesn't have a prize in it? Get out of my life. Listen. If I had, if I was a billionaire back in the day, well, back in the day, a millionaire could have been a billionaire. If I was a millionaire in the 80s as a kid, are you kidding me? Happy Meals. Every fucking meal's got to come with a toy. I'm not playing games. Actually, I am playing games. Let's get Milton Bradley and Hasbro on the phone. Because I'm going to talk about getting my chips choppers now.
all right, that I couldn't get for Christmas. They got me the Chips helicopter of all the fucking disgraziato gifts you could bring home to, kid. Chips, I never saw a helicopter, them flying around in a helicopter in the show. Now I got, uh, this gosh, your bong helicopter. I could have threw it over my shoulder. As a kid, I never saw a disappointment. I couldn't hide it. As a kid, you don't hide those emotions. My mom looked at me. She was like, how do you enjoy Christmas? I was like, uh, I don't know, Ma. I can't talk right now. I got to take a shit. How about that on for size? And I'm going to wipe my ass with this chips chopper. Something that you feel bad about later on in life. Yeah. You know. I don't know. For crying out, Crin. All I know is I'm gonna I'm gonna spear the old man with a dog down the block. If he says one more comment, he loves roasting my dog now. The last one, the last one he said. Hey, hey you dog, uh uh, let's get him a straight jacket. So, I don't know. I got this new fucking truck, the Ford Maverick. And, uh, I don't know. I got the asshole de detailing kit now. Let me, let me tell you something. What, what is it about when you buy a new truck? Do you sign a contract with like birds? Does Ford sign a contract with birds or something like that to immediately start attacking? with bird shit. I'm about to get like a little wolf or something and put it on top of my hood. Something to scare away these birds. I got more birds taking a shit on my truck, a, a new truck. And every time they shit on the truck, I got to run out there with the hose. You know, I, listen, I never had a new car before. I don't even know how to behave. I'm like washing it every day. It's already rusting. So what the fuck am I doing? I'm washing this thing every day. A, bur a piece of pollen falls. I got to get the hose. It's miserable owning something new. I say the most, the best car I ever owned in my life was my Mazda. My Mazda 6. That's right. It was 2005. I got it from a guy that was throwing it away. I think I paid the price of scrap. What the scrap yard was going to give him, I paid him for it. I replaced one motor mount, the easiest motor mount to get at, and I had the most reliable car for the next five years. That Mazda 6 was awesome. It was a fucking rocket ship. That, Ma that Mazda 6 would eat my Mustang alive. And I put aluminum heads on the turn! I never, I never had a car that accelerated so aggressively in my life. It felt like the engine was going to jump off the frame and just take off out in front of, in front of me. It would just pull you because it was front wheel drive. So you'd nail it. It was just like... It was like the hardest acceleration. I was like, Jesus Christ, take it easy. That must have been a fun car to test and beat the shit out of. I'll tell you what. That little Mazda didn't know me a damn thing. I used to drink, drink, you drink a soda from like, I don't know, you go to Chipotle, you get a soda. You ever eat Chipotle? I had an entire burrito on each side of my seats. Half the burrito goes down the seat. I don't know what to tell you. Beans, all right, mild salsa, and a little chorizo down the side. You come to my, you come to my Mazda, I can make you two, two fucking burritos. The car stunk to high hell. I didn't give a shit. I was the only one in it, driving back and forth to work. People would get in the car. The car stinks. I was like, all right, you stink. That's all. I, did, I dated a girl like that. I would insult her. I'd be like, you know what? You're really stupid or something like that. And she goes, no, you're really stupid. She would always fire that one back at me. Or I'd say like, you know, that shirt looks horrible on you. Oh yeah, your shirt looks horrible. I was like, what, what are you fucking, three years old? Seriously, this would happen back and forth. I tell you what, I dated some fucking knuckleheads in my day. I always preferred knucklehead women, you know? 
I don't know why. Knucklehead women are fun. You know, it's, you get with a small woman, it's like, eh. All right, Brainiac. You know? Some of these broads, they just think they know everything. I, you know what my perfect woman is, to be honest with you? I like I like a, a butterface. I like a broad with a, like a face that uh, it looks like a mule kicked in, but with a hot body. I love that look. I saw a chick at the car show the other day. She had a body unbelievable. And she had a nose. I don't know. You could stir a fucking spaghetti with it. This nose coming off. Some Italian broads get hit with that nose. You ever see them? They get the big... Some Italians get that big nose. You ever see that? It looks like the rudder on a fucking... Uh, on a on a, one of those fucking cargo ships. And, uh... I mean, they do. The backstroke at the beach. You got fucking... You got people yelling, Shaq. This type of broad. I don't know. Knockout body. I always like that. I always like that. What, what does that tell you about me? I don't know. What am I, like, insecure? It's almost like when they got that pretty face, it's like you got to take care of them. At least if they got that butter face, it's like, where are you going to go? We're eating McDonald's tonight. <laughs> you thought you were going to a restaurant? I don't know. Maybe I'm trying to save money. You know? I want to go to Blackstone's with that fucking nose. We're going to Wendy's. All right? I got this fat slob at work telling me. He's so excited. I said, I wish I could be so excited about something. He comes up to me. He's like, hey, did you hear about Wendy's? I was like, wow, what happened? Another fucking person die from eating that food? And he goes, no, they got a... Uh, a 50-piece chicken nugget for $14.99. I said, okay, is it like a little league team you're going to go feed or something like that? And he's like, no, I'm going to buy it for myself. I said, you're going to eat a 50-piece chicken nugget? This is the same guy that went on vacation. And he's doing a staycation, I guess, where you stay at home like a fucking loser that you are. I get it. I'm doing it right now. And uh, he tells me that he takes the microwave from the kitchen and he mounts it next to the couch in the living room so he can heat up food. He, st he sits right next to a microwave. I don't go near a microwave. I got news for you right now. Okay? That fucking thing will kill you. We got my, all, my microwave is nut height. You understand? I said to my wife, why don't you just put the elephant's foot from Chernobyl down there into my underpants? So I never walk near the thing. I would never let my son walk near the thing. He When he was little, he was head height. My wife started on the fucking the, 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 the microwave. I'm like, hey, Joseph Mangala, you have a fucking a baby, a baby brain passing next to this machine. Yeah, this thing has no gaskets on it. You ever open up a microwave door? There's no gaskets on it. So, so uh, you're going to fry my balls. And don't tell me it's not frying your balls when you're standing right next to it. God almighty. The fuck were we talking about? I don't know. The other asshole thing is I go I go to uh, CVS the other day. They got hats. They got hats on like a rack. You know, hats for like going to the beach or whatnot. And they, there's a big sign bragging. Uh, SPF 50 rated. I'm like SPF 50. We got hats that are rated at SPF 50. I said, how about SPF 1 million, huh? How about a hat that I can put on and not get a sunburn? Isn't that the fucking point? When do we start SPF rating hats? I want to get out of this fucking country so bad. I'm so sick and tired of this country. I said, I moved to the Dominican Republic. What am I going to do? Stick me up in the mountains. All right, can I have guns? Just give me guns. Is guns legal over there? 
Stick me up in the mountains with guns. All right? And then everybody can leave me the fuck alone. And just pa pile building materials in front of my house. I'll call up blocks, cement. This, and I'm starting to build. I'm going to build a fucking house that will fucking knock your socks off. Listen, imagine imagine as a man. I want you to picture yourself as, a, as an American man. I put you on a piece of property. Okay? I give you the building materials you request. And then you can build whatever you want. Like, this is not, well, I don't know how to build a house. No. Hey, asshole. There's no code. You can do it the way you want to do it. Can you imagine that for a second? God, I wish that for everybody one day. I want to go out to the woods and I want to build a log cabin. I want to build a cabin out of trees. We've talked about this before, but please, please. You know what you get? One of those fucking... Uh, those trailers that you buy, like the, the box trailer thing, the metal container, two of those. Buy a piece of property, park two of those on the property. You need an ATV, you need a sawmill from Harbor Freight, they're like five grand. What kind of investment are we talking about here? It's probably gonna cost you about a hundred thousand dollars. That'd be the best money you ever spent. What are you gonna buy, an asshole car? Come on, every guy spends about a hundred grand on something in his life. Here we go. So you buy the piece of property, acres. I mean, acres of, of land up uh, upstate New York here. It's like uh, you can get a you can get like fifty acres for twenty grand. You know, you're in the middle of nowhere. No water. No no electricity. This type of thing. All right. So you buy your two com containers. How much are they? Like two grand each. Two or three thousand dollars each. Two containers plop down on the land. They're lockable. So you keep all your equipment in there safe. Because that's still important. You drive your ATV in the one. You got your fucking sawmill in the other. Okay? Chainsaws. This type of thing. Then you go out and you start cutting down trees. You run them through the sawmill. You, you're making boards. You start setting up the foundation for your house. You clear a way. You clear a path. Okay? We figure this stuff out. All right? You build your house. You drill a fucking well. Somebody will probably have to come in and drill a well. All right? At the end of the day. You're running on solar panel. I don't know. You got wind turbines going. This is the ultimate, man. And you get everybody to fuck off your back. This is the ultimate. You know, there's no mail coming to the house. You know what? You give your middle finger to the world. And then that's it. You grow your little, uh, you grow your little, uh, fucking potatoes. All right, you get a couple chickens out there. Oh yeah, eggs, you know, and the occasional, uh, you know, <laughs> the occasional feast. That's all. Cut the chicken's head off, you gotta do it. Let's face it, you know, you gotta cut the chicken's head off. It's, you say, I'm sorry, little buddy, it's for sustenance. Cut wing, cut the chicken's head off. Let's get back to nature. All right? And you're telling me I'm not growing pot plants like three stories high? Oh, my God. I'd be like the editor of fucking High Times. Listen, you're going to stick me out there. I got to do something. I mean, you want to talk about wake and bake? Well, let's get the party started. We got to fucking... I don't think you could really get that high and still function. I couldn't. I couldn't. It'd be nappy time. I'd have a bad chewing on my leg. I'd fall asleep on the sawmill. That's it. And you got to have guns, too, because you never go out into Mother Nature with guns. Guys, are you bored to death? I mean, how far are we in here? Mm. I got this guy for, at work. He, his parents came from a different country. He took him into the city. <clears throat> took him to see the Statue of Liberty and all this. And he's like, hey, have you ever been to see, to see the Statue of Liberty? I was like, no. He gasps. Oh! <gasps> Like, 
No. He goes, you ever go to the Empire State Building? I was like, nope. Nope. Another gasp. <gasps> I was like, why, why don't you fucking stop all your gasping? I was on 42nd Street where you can fucking walk into a, a, a the back of a store and see a, a chick shoving a Pringles can into her asshole. All right, you want to talk about a party? You can buy a porno and a Rolex for twenty dollars. Okay, that's New York City, baby. You're wasting my time with this Statue of Liberty. This fucking who is this broad? Anyhow, the French gave it to us. Come on. You can go up to the top of the Empire State Building and what? And jump. It's the only thing that would be enti enticing about going up there. After a day in New York, you want to jump. Between the bums masturbating on the side of the road. Oh, yeah, yeah. Perfectly acceptable. Imagine if it was the 1950s and you had a bum try to masturbate on the side of the road. You know what would happen? You get a boot in the eye, number one. Number two, they'd throw him in jail. How about that on for size? Remember that? I had a guy, he knew a cop. There was a guy throwing bricks off the fucking top of the roof in Brooklyn. He was a cop in Brooklyn. Old school. This is going back. Way, this is like 50s, 60s. Maybe 40s. I don't even know. Guy was throwing bricks. He was nutty. He's throwing bricks off the roof at people. The cop went up there. He threw the guy right off the roof. It's, it's like the end of that. Are we ever going to get back to that in this country? That's, that's how you have law and order. You don't throw fucking bricks. I saw a fucking guy on the side of the road. He was, was just on, uh, on fucking TikTok. There was some bum on the side of the road throwing rocks into the middle of the, uh, the freeway. A guy rides by in a motorcycle, eats a rock, falls off his motorcycle. I said, that's it. That guy gets executed. That, 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 right there and then. Call the meat wagon. We got a bad apple here. No, no, uh, in the court system necessary. Everybody can see. Look at this. This guy, we we get him out of here. Throw him in the water somewhere. I don't know. Give him one of those. You know what you do? You give him one of those floaty things like this. It's the dinosaur. You remember the, the blow up dinosaur? But it's it's made out of concrete. And then we go for a swim. It's like, hey, you, that could have been a family. Like, he could have hit a windshield and a family. The whole family rolls over and dies. And then what? He gets, to go, he gets to go on about his life? No. No. You're going for a fucking swim, dude. That's it. That's it. I don't understand this world we live in. I really don't. It's fucking horrible. Anyway, I got so blazing drunk at this party. I mean, I was just looking at the clouds going by over the table. I got there early, like 4 o'clock. And there was like these clouds in the sky. They were like perfect clouds, like pieces of cotton. You could pick it right out of the sky. And I'm sitting there, and I, I say to my, my sister-in-law, I say, Doris, you, you see those clouds? It looks like you, you just pull them out of the sky. She goes, Yes, yeah, so you're drunk. I said, I'm not drunk. I'm just making an observation. If, if, if you don't talk, like, you, God forbid. God forbid you have any abstract thoughts around Spanish people. I was a little drunk. But, you know, that's besides the point. The Heinekens were going down, guys. I've been trying to be healthy, okay? The whole week I've tried to be healthy. Yeah. I got this fucking Yahoo telling me I got to eat two, two grams of protein per pound of body weight. I'm like, I don't even know how this is fucking possible. I'm 200 pounds. That's 400 grams of protein. Can you do the math here? An egg has like, I don't know, six. I'm eating like a dozen eggs a day. I'm eating tuna fish out the wazoo. My kidneys, if they could talk... Okay, my kidneys would put me in an arm bar if they had, if they had arms. 
and I'm I'm eating like ground beef with with eggs and 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 just like slabs of beef and and chicken at the I feel like throwing up. I can't eat that much at this point in my life. God almighty, I think the only answer is to take steroids. I feel that's that's the only answer at this point. That's it. And I think your dickhead has to get more sun. I took a piss on the side of my shed the other day in the sunlight. And it was the weirdest feeling because the sun was actually at like high noon. And it was coming down between the shed and the fence. And I was peeing. And I was getting sunshine on the head of my dick. And I have to tell you something. There was something to that. I was like, we keep our dick in our pants. Let's face it. It never sees the sun. You can't tell me that's a good thing. I'm going to start suntanning my dick. C can you believe these lives we're living? I've been running low on coffee here, guys. I mean, it's, it's going right down the hatchy. I thought about that for a long time. I said, what's, what's, up, what's up with your dick? It needs vitamin D. I mean, you know, locally, with some local vitamin D. I bet you a big problem with the guys not being able to get hard lately. I mean, that's a thing. ED. ED's a thing. I wouldn't know anything about it. Um, 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 um. No, but I mean, it's a thing nowadays. I think we're, maybe we're not getting enough sun on the old dickaroo. And God damn it, it's against the law to get sun on the dick. What kind of constitution did they write? You know, it's like, I love it how, how chicks can whip their tits all over the place. Okay, but that's fine. You know, that's all right. What's so offensive about a cock and balls? I gotta admit to you, it's pretty fucking offensive. I don't know what it is. You pull out a dick and balls, guys get upset, women get upset. Everybody gets upset. The dog starts growling. Dog, dog can walk around with his dick and balls out. No problem. He can even roll over on his back and start sucking his own cock in front of everybody. And that's okay, too. I'm thinking about going nude. Imagine going to a nudist colony. I, I couldn't do it, guys. Between the varicose veins, the fucking hemorrhoids dangling. I don't need this shit, man. I mean, you bend over to get something out of the cooler. Your hemorrhoids are popping. Everybody's throwing up. Can you do a nudist colony? I don't know. I got acne on my chest for some reason. I got, like, dry spots. Like, certain guys weren't made to be nude, and I'm one of them. We're talking red hairs, pink, pink like mushroom cap on the penis. Horrible. Horrible. This is like, uh, I don't know. Red asshole has. You want to see this? You want to see? You want a Bud Light? Let me get you a Bud Light. Hold on. Hold on, everybody. Let me get you a Bud Light. Oh, as the record goes, z -z -z zip. And you're like, what happened? They're like, listen, I I'd be the first one to get exiled from a nudist colony. And it would break my heart. It really would. It would, it would increase my, it would lower my self-esteem even lower than it is right now, which is pretty damn low. So, yeah, imagine getting the letter. Like, you know, from this point forward, we're going to request that you wear clothing anytime you come near the colony. And you're like, guys, what, what is it? What is it? Is it the, is it the, uh, the spider veins on the nutsack? What did it? I don't know, the thing that really, really, here's my problem with a nudist colony, okay? I remember walking on a nude beach and being approached by an old man. And I've told the story before, but it was like the silhouette of an old man. And as he got, he, as he got closer, I said, uh, is he carrying a grandfather clock? Because his dick looked like the fucking pendulum from a grandfather clock. It was down past his kneecap. I said to myself, oh my God, this must be like a hernia or something. What's coming at me right now? 
And yeah, it was the largest dick I've ever seen. It actually, the dick t changed direction before the head did. So it was like, it was swinging back and forth. And the dick would go this way and the head was already going the other way, almost like an elephant's trunk. I'm not lying to you. And he had a head like a lacrosse ball. And even the, di even the hole in the end of the dick head, it was like an asshole. It was so big. Guys, my mother watches this program. Anyhow, I saw this guy's dick. I was like, I told my friend, we're both walking to the nude beach. We're like, ha, 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 we'll go to the nude beach. Ha, 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 ha. I said, I'm, I'm turning around. I'm going back. I don't need this in my life. I said, the first person we see has a fucking 30-inch cock. <clears throat> he was an old man, so gravity took over. He was probably like Tommy Lee back in the day, like Motley Crue. But he's old, and gravity takes over. So your balls and your dick hang down. I was like, if this guy jumps in the water, he still comes out of the water like Peter North. He has a normal-sized dick when he gets out of the water. The freezing cold water. I don't know. We also saw, we saw this old lady doing yoga. She was like doing a handstand with a clam open. I was like, oh, disgusting. I felt like running up and throwing a handful of sand inside of it. There you go. Clean that out, honey. Put some clothes on, people. Naked people, stop being naked. It's horrendi. Ladies and gentlemen, I don't know what we're doing today. I mean, I think that's quite obvious. There's not really a plan. Let's have a little fun, okay? We don't get to do that very often on the show. So, I mean, what direction do we go? I don't know. But let's do it. I mean, let's do it. Picture, picture time. Hit me. It's picture, picture time. Running for the picture, picture time. Bring me some picture, picture time. We spin every picture, picture time. Go watch picture, picture time. Having fun on picture, picture time. Video games on picture, picture time. We spin every picture, picture time. Oh. Oh. All right, guys. I mean, what do we go to all games? We do we do this, and just whatever tickles the fancy, like Captain America and the Avengers Game Gear. Oh, why not? Why not? Can you imagine that at 28,000 games is what we land on? All right, maybe it's a message from the Lord. 1993. Guys, look at the game gear. Scrolling text. It was a big deal. M. Oh boy. Skull seeks to conquer the world with a team of supervillains. I wonder if that's... Okay, he has to use a mind control... Yeah, yeah, we know. Okay. Alright. Wow, okay. Can I duck? No. I can jump, though. Oh shit, I threw him. Awesome. Oh wow, that took care of that. Can't shoot up. Jump up. Double jump. No. Pick up rock. No. Oh, come on, please. I guess this is not that bad. 
What do I got? Oh shit, hold on. You got four selectable characters. And nice try. I'm gonna throw you at that. Oh, I knew that was gonna work. Ah, oh, damn you. Yeah. Alright, we got the basic idea. I mean, god damn it. Where do we go next? Cyber Knights. Oh, Token House. Goodbye. Ah, oh, Dragon Ball Z. GBA. Look at this. We're on a handheld kick here, aren't we, though? prediction that this game is going to be horrible, but that's only my prediction. Of course we're going to be this guy, right? Goku. Yeah, all right. I see, I see Atari on the label. I, I worry about the quality on the table. Not that bad. I'm trying to figure out how to do a special move. Oh boy. Whoa, what are we doing? That was crazy. I mean, it doesn't feel too bad. Oh, jeez. My fingers are killing me already. Ah, oh, this is a button masher, that's for sure. I'm trying to figure out how to do special, because I really don't know how to do them. Oh, boy. All right. What the hell's happening here? It build up in my wrist. Alright, let me just kick his ass already. Get the fuck out of here. I love a good fight. Now when do we eat? Alright, you're out of here. Guys, let's get into something heavy duty, huh? Mission 660 Arcade. Oh, good God. Do you guys want to go to 86? Let's see what's going on in 86. Oh, boy. Mission 660, Tato. Oh, wow, they're showing you the power ups? That's pretty cool. Let me get the volume up. Oh shit. Oh wow, this is pretty awesome. Damn. Oh, that star, is that a power up? Whoa! Oh, 
I thought that was a power up. Shit. Okay. What's our what's our other buttons? We have nothing. Okay, we just shoot. Oh, that's a power up. Whoa, there's something new happening here. Wow, this is like a perfect mix of an old school and a new school shooter, you know? It's almost like Space Invaders meets Truxton. Like they, this is they, they were just on the cusp for figuring it out, right? Oh, I want that star! Oh shit! Look at us now! Fuck all of you! Oh good! Oh, we didn't lose our weapon. Awesome! Oh, now I want to power up again. All right, so that's an immovable object right there. Oh shit! God damn, that guy was relentless. All right, you get the idea. Let's move along. That was pretty cool. That wasn't a bad game. Wimbledon, dop dop, Game Gear, yeah, dop dop. Let's ride Friends Forever. Oh no. No, I'm sorry, we're not gonna, no. Which? GBA, man, there's a lot of GBA games. Uh, no, sorry. Super Mario Brothers Shunnin version NES. 25 Shunnin version. Well, let's see what's going on. Shunin? Let's have a little fun. Okay. It's just 20, 25. Oh god. That might be world's most embarrassing gameplay footage right there. Can you imagine? Alright. So what did they do? They didn't do anything new here. Alright, I want out of here. Like, come on. You're boring the shit out of me. I'm sorry. Just gotta go. Skate or die, tour to thrash on the Game Boy. I I don't think we ever played tour to thrash. And I gotta hear the music, guys. I just gotta. We played the other one. We didn't play this one. Santa Cruz officially sponsored. Fighter 2 Special Champion Edition? No, come on. I, we've had enough. What is this? Core Benny. What? Core Benny NES. What is this nonsense? By Megasoft. Spain. What? Oh boy. Oh, go Benny. Oh no. Why in the world? 
Oh, okay. Speed, a little speed. I'll take the speed. Oh my God, it's a cute map. your pants guys we got a little bit of parallax scrolling here it's just not that bad oh how did I take that shot right to the app Yes, I'm greedy. I'm greedy, baby. Give me that power up. Oh, we got a split shot. All right. Oh, those guys came out like they meant business and they got fucked up. Kind of enjoying this game. Oh, this asshole. Oh, come on, back up, back up, back up. A little speed, why not? Feels good. Gotta get rid of that guy quick. power up. Speed I don't need. Don't need any more speed. Ah, I knew they were going to do that again. I got the speed now. Come on, power up, power up. Ah, one up. I want to power up this gun. See what we're working with here. I know you guys are probably bored to death, but I like this game. Oh, we got another power up. Yes. What do we got now? Oh, come on. So we fully powered up, is that the idea? More speed? Oh boy. We got a master here? Oh yes, I'm breaking into three shots now. Okay. Oh boy! Guys, this is legit. This is legit. Oh, tell me I read your book already, Rommel! Yeah. Come on guys, this is the way to be. Um, um. Oh shit! Alright. Oh no, my power-ups are gone! What is that, a rainbow in the sky? That's it, shut this off. Now that was a fun game. That was uh that was a little nice. Uh, Terminator oh no, no. All right, Game Boy, we get it, we get it. Oh my God, get more Game Boy? Empire of Steel, Mega Drive. You know what? I don't think I ever played this game. You know something that the cover art always irked me. I know, I don't, for some reason. Oh boy. Oh wow, they're doing it big time, aren't they? Wow. Okay. Whoa. 
Yes, let's stop. The Motorhead Empire has never failed to conquer its enemies. The Motorhead Empire. All right. Oh, what do we want? Zeppelin? Striker. Wow, this has a cool vibe to it. Oh, I can shoot behind me. All right. Steve. Wow, a bit of digitized graphics here. Uh, I, all right, I got everything. I don't know what happened. Oh my god, I'm just absorbing shots. What's going on here? Oh, I, got, I, I keep forgetting that I can shoot behind me. Alright. Oh shit! Take that, you sucker bitches! Oh my god! No! No! <laughs> Eat shit and die. Come on, come on, get it together. Damn. Damn me. Ready for this? Stay in the zone, pal. Stay in the zone. Man, this guy's a prick. Take everything? Damn it. Guys, guys. Guys. I know, I know. Alright, turn off please, please. Guys, do you realize you just tuned in to the greatest video game program? in the history of human civilization and you better believe that with a 4k face <clears throat>
<clears throat> we'll see you next time. Guys, you got to get over to Patreon. We're doing sprinkler systems on. Thank you, honey. Thank you. We uh, have the Advices program up there. I don't know, 78 episodes we're up to now, the Advices program. Here's the email. Email me, put Advices in the header. Okay? Ask me anything you want. You got to see what people ask me. This is, this is like crazy. Check this out. Hey, Bithead, we have this real creep at work. We work together? M M. No. Uh, he's a fat, lazy sack of crap with long, greasy hair in a ponytail. We catch him looking at weird cartoon porn probably once a week. <laughs> Fuck them all, big and small. God love you that you're having, you're having sex dreams at the age of 50. I, 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 my, my, my only dreams I have now is I'm waking up on a hospital gurney. Something is, is going on here. I know. Everybody's off their fucking rocker these days. That's the bottom line. Guys, email me. Okay, we'll solve all your problems just like. And remember, there's another show on there called You're the Boss, where you email me again. Okay, you insult me, tell me, I, I don't know, uh, tell me, I don't know, your mother should have had three abortions. How about that? And then that's it. Then you tell me what game you want me to play. And we play it. And man, we played some doozies. Castlevania X, great game. I don't think I've even ever played it before. But it's a great game. Completely different from, from Rondo of Blood. Patreons, thank you for the support. We'll see you next time.